Bible, pray every day. Yeah? Right? <laughs> rules. Religious rules. But it's when, it's when you do it because there's life in it. I'm a disciple. I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to fashion my life after Jesus. I don't want his boring old life of running around trying to chase money and fame and popularity and women. Never mind. It's okay. That's right. I thought I'd get one amen. I want to discover why I am created. Why am I put on this planet? What is the point? What did Jesus, what did God the Father have in mind when he sent a spirit out when I was conceived and he fashioned me in the womb and he put me together and I was born and I went through all these circumstances to bring me to him and I have a unique story and some of it is really tough but it, you know it's not all glory and good but I want you to know that through that whole story I am getting to find out who I really am. I want you to find out who you really are more than you already have and many of you already have started and like me just started and we're, we're anxious to keep moving we're not anxious fearfully or stressed we're just excited to keep moving how do we treat them do we use Jesus as a bandage what is a bandage for anybody know I'm waking you up again what's a bandage for cover a wound so that it can heal so that dirt and whatever doesn't get in and it can heal cleanly do we use Jesus that way when you have an owie do you go to Jesus I'm, I'm not belittling I have an owie do you go to him just to try to get him to heal your owie or is he the bread of life are you following him with everything you've got are you using Jesus as a cold remedy what is cold remedy for? Do, does cold remedy beat the cold? No. What does it do? Masks and, and takes care of symptoms so that we can survive the cold however long it lasts. You treating Jesus as a cold remedy? Like you're going through a tough place, so oh help me, help me. There's nothing wrong with praying like that. But is that, all, is that the only time you ever go to him? Is that really who you think Jesus is? Or is he the bread of life? Are you following him? Are you learning who he is and how he thinks? And changing your life so you can think like he does and do like he does? What does Jesus say he's here to do? He's here to bring you life. What category do you put Jesus in? Is he a band-aid? Is he a cold remedy? Is he even just a hand lotion? I've got little minor irritations. I just want to have softer hands. So I'll just pray to Jesus that he'll help me. You know, like, is that how we treat Jesus? Or are we following him as his disciples? I challenge you. He is the bread of life. If we partake of him on a daily basis, we are moving more and more into life. And we say those terms. But what do we mean? In simple terms, how do we take him in on a daily basis? I've sort of mentioned it, but I'm going to say it to you in one sentence. By studying how he lived and imitating it. He only did what he saw his father doing, and he only said what he heard his father saying. That's recorded in John. So we need to learn to take the time in more and more situations to ask Father how he wants us to handle whatever life situation we're in. Is your marriage all mucked up? Is it like a hot mess? Somebody said use that word last week. Like is your family like kind of a hot mess? Like feel free. Been there. You know? Got five kids. They're all adults. We're trying to, you know, finish off with our hot mess so we can try to help them a little bit. Not Jesus, but, you know, a father can still help. And a mother. But listen. Are you receiving him as a band-aid? Or are you receiving him as the bread of life? A life or death decision. If I receive him as the breath, bread of life, I will have life in an increasing way growing in me. Life. Not just I'm still breathing in and out, but you will have capital L-I-F-E. You will have life. You will get up in the morning in an increasing way and go, yes. 
what's up today, Father? Instead of, oh, crap, to do this again. This is killing me. How do you want to live? I want to follow Jesus. I want the life of a disciple. I want to increasingly move more and more into life. Wherever that's spoken to you, I want you to just respond to God right now. Let's just stand. Pam, do you want to... Can the prayer people come up? The prayer people can come up. and What we do here, if you're visiting, is if God speaks to you something, you just feel impressed about something, or something's really spoken to you, and you just want to... You know, you've just thought, man, I should do that, or I should make a decision about that, or I really want that. Then it's good to sometimes just come and, we're not trying to single you out, I mean, we could do it at the back, but that would get confused with all the coffee and everything. So at the front, that's not special. It's just coming and just saying it out loud. I want to be a disciple of Jesus. All right, we're going to agree on that, aren't we, Darren? Thank you, Jesus, that this guy wants to be a disciple of Jesus. Show him what that means. Teach him, help him, lead him. And so come. I invite you to just come as I'm going to pray. And just come. And whatever it is, whatever declaration you want to make, whatever you heard today, whatever, however you want your life to change today, just come and pray with one of us.